Okay. Okay, I would have said you, Amanda, otra vez. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviation in business email? No, no, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Sorry, Arturo. Teacher, solo íbamos a practice y a uh, oh, darnos un consejo ahí de cómo realizar este, los correos. Yes. Ideas, podría decirse. Exactly, to continue the conversation. Oh. Vamos a continuar ahí en la conversación dándonos el consejo o... Ahí mismo. Ya. Yeah. Ahí mismo. Ah, ya. Yeah. Lo pone en el chat. Lo pone en el chat. Ah. Mire, fíjense que acabo de estar hablando con un compañero y me dice de que si podemos utilizar la oración ah. que la teacher puso en, en el cuadro. Solo que nosotros la vamos a agregar a la conversación. Así ah, como yo sí le voy a preguntar si usted utiliza abreviaciones en, en sus correos. Ya usted me ah. responde si lo hace o no lo hace. Ah, ok. Ah, pues sí. Ok. Okay. Yes, that's correct. Entonces me pregunta las primeras y yo voy contestando, a ver si puedo contestar. Vaya, si gusta. Esa es la primera. Tiene el cuadro. Hola. Tiene el cuadro. Hello guys. Hello. Okay, are you still practicing or did you finish? Uh, Carla is driving. Oh, is driving house. home. Okay, in Salvador is only oyente. Ok, Víctor. Um, solo que estoy apoyando a Sandra. Yeah, I can, I can hear that. Yeah, why don't you join them? Yes. Aquí tienes algunos. You can work with them. Mm -hmm. And we are also about to. Is right. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hello? Oh, sí, ok, no problem. Ya regresaron. <laughs> ya salimos de... <laughs> yeah, but that's good because we weren't practicing. That's great, guys. Okay, can I have a uh, no? Let's wait for the others to 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 incorporate. Okay, how was the practice? Was it easy? Was it difficult? So so. A little bit, okay, that was great. Uh -huh. But it's not too easy, but not so difficult. Can we have a couple of students uh, having the conversation? Do we have some volunteers to do that? Okay, 
Wow, a lot of volunteers. Okay. <laughs> we are going to be the first one. Okay, Marlon, thank you. Sorry, Fatima. But <laughs> we are worry. the chosen. Okay. <laughs> Let me open the conversation in the okay. WhatsApp. Okay, that's nice. Okay. I'm Amanda, right? And you are Luis? Yes. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it's not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to to write effective email? Yeah, sure. For example, you don't have to use copyright letters because the people think that maybe you are screaming. And the other ones maybe mark in red some, some words or when you don't use salutations and many other ones. What do you think? Um, I also agree with you. <laughs> we have to avoid use capital letters and also we don't have to to write in red on in another color because it's not appropriate and you have to avoid abbre abbreviation also when we write a formal conversation that's, yes, all that's absolutely share. that's absolutely true thanks <laughs> you work excellent guys i really appreciate your help very good Excellent. Okay. You see, guys, you can do it. Do we have another person? Any other, another couple of students? You can do it, guys. What about, let me see who, Carlos, Marco, Alba, Sandrita, Walter, hey guys. What happens today? Es que casi no practicamos, teacher, muy poquito tiempo. <laughs> really? Yes. And who is your partner? Matías. Ah, Matías. Mm -hmm. But you can try. Uh, the conversation, read the conversation. Yes, and try to add another tip. Okay. You can use the ones that were in the in the box that I show you. Okay. <laughs> Matias. Do you often send email? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use a revision in business? emails no it is not professional i see would you share more tips to write effective effective image yeah sure uh, avoid using recent um the emails do not use capital letters and get the point. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you guys. Okay, thank you so much for your help. Now guys, it's time to take the second attendance. So please say present if you are here, clearly and loudly. Alba Vides. Alfredo present. Rodas. Alfredo Isic. Carla Sánchez. Present. Carlos Walberto. Present. Cristina Romero. Domingo González. 
Present. Fátima del Carmen Portillo. Present, teacher. José Matías Lemus Ramírez. Present. Karina Yamile Espinosa Ventura. Marco David Velázquez. Present, teacher. Marlon Cardona Valencia. Present. Mauricio Alexander Majano. Um, Maideli Judith Díaz. Guys, help me if they say present in the chat. Nancy Rodríguez. Eh, Rocío Katia. Salvador Edgardo Vázquez. Present teacher. Sandra Velázquez. Present. Víctor Salazar. Present. Walter Daniel González. Present. En William Eduardo Pérez García. Ok, Cristina said present, Nancy said present, and Rocío said present. Okay. ok, guys, let's continue with the next part of the presentation. So now that you have talked about the tips, tips to write effective emails, like do not use abbreviations, do not use uh, the red color in all, the, the, in all your emails. Only if you want to highlight an important point, remember not to write a long uh, email, right? With many paragraphs, it's, that is not professional. You have to be brief. You have to be direct. You write clearly when you, why? Stay clearly why you're writing an email. Also, and do not use smileys. And don't forget to salutate, to greet the people. Mm -hmm. And also it's important to write um, the topic, right, of your email. Yeah, do not leave it in blank. So now uh, we have more tips to write a formal email. And then I will show you some examples of formal and informal emails. So what is the tip number one? I will ask you guys to read the tips, to help me read the tips. Uh, let's see, let's start with Alba. Can you please read the tip number one? Yes. Fill in the subject line. line with a topic relevant to your recipient and no use document or important. Thank you so much. Number two, Matias. Okay. Okay. Include a polite situation. Salutation. Salutation. Example. E, E, G, dear, Mr. Uh, dear, dear Mrs. Dear Miss. Dot, pleca. Yeah, it's not necessary to Good read. Good morning, etc. Okay, thank you. Number three, Carlos Walberto. Write your main point in the opening sentence. Thank you. 
Number four, Sandra Yamile. Don't use all capital or all lower cut letter. Lower case letters, thank you, very good. Number five, Fatima. A boy, a boy, a Example, uh, when we are abbreviated boys. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Number six, Marco David. Number six. Be polite. Remember to write please and thank you. Thank you. Number seven, Victor. Be brave. Is be brief. Message, be brief. If your message is too long, consider using an attachment. Okay, thank you. Number eight, Domingo. Use a closing pricing like this price. Release this. Regular, regular, best regards. Best regards. Regards. Looking forward to your comments, etc. Et 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 so yes. Marlon, number nine, please. A signature block with appropriate contact information. Your number the business address and phone number thank you and number 10 uh, who's missing rocio edit and prove prove free before you send the message thank you so much yes that's very important what is the meaning of proof Proof, proof read is, proof. is proof to read, read. read your, your message before you send it. Uh, okay. You Thank read you. it. You read it mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the tip number one. In the subject line, you have to write the topic. Okay. Not just document or important. You have to be very specific with... Uh, what's the message of your email? Number two, remember that you have to greet, okay? Even though you are not in physical contact with the person, but you have to be polite and greet. And number three, in the first sentence, in the opening sentence, you have to write the main point why you are writing your email. Number four, it is not correct to write all your message with capital letters like this. I'm going to write in the chat, okay? A message with all capitals, okay? Do not write all your message with capital letters. Why? Because people will feel May feel okay. May feel like offended or rude, or it can be rude. Like if you were shouting at them, you know, so they're gritando, right? Or screaming at them, okay? The same, it is not professional. We can say likewise. It is not professional. To use all lowercase letter. Because remember that uh, some words are written or some words start with capitals. Uh, 
uh, like when you start a sentence or when you write a name. A name. City, a country, a, a day, a month, etc. Mm -hmm. Imagine I write, maybe maybe I write is um imagine I write like this. Good morning, Mark. Look, Marlon without capital. I write this email to ask you for her, for help. Okay. Imagine that is not professional. Okay, avoid abbreviations. Imagine you're writing in your to your boss or an important person, and it's in. For example, you say, "I don't know." when the package is coming like that i don't know or, or writing like in the example please right or maybe <laughs> or using the emojis Okay, informal business is not correct. Uh, be polite, remember to write please and thank you. Imagine you just write, for example, Matias. Just imagine, Matias, send me, send me the report. Right away. Okay, and not even saying, not saying please, and do not saying thank you. Or writing a very long message. At the end of your message, you have to, um, you have to end with a closing phrase, like best regards, regards, looking forward to your comments, or thank you for your attention, or, I don't know, any other closing phrase. And also you can include a, a signature block or una firma with your name, your business address or and phone number, edit and proofread before you send the message. Imagine that uh, when you proofread, you can see maybe a, a spelling mistake Un error de escritura o de ortografía. So that's why it's important to proofread before you send it. Now I'm going to show you two examples of emails and tell me if it's formal or informal. Okay, this is the first one. To peter at mail.com. Subject, Saturday. Remember, we have to prepare everything for the event. Please don't forget the things. See, you is the abbreviation of you. Is this formal or informal? Informal. Informal. Why? Because I can use abbreviation. Oh, there I is can an use. Okay, we can see the abbreviation. What else? What about the subject of the email? Is it appropriate? Is it professional? No. No, because Saturday, Saturday. Yeah, what happens on Saturday? Okay, is the person asking things uh, in a polite way? Is it saying please? Uh, yeah, it's saying it's saying please, but 
it's a little bit direct, right? Remember, we have to prepare everything for the event. Please don't forget the things, but which things? Very general, not specific. Which things? Que cosas, right? Now, what about the other, the other uh, email? To robert at email.com, subject to tomorrow's meeting. Tomorrow's meeting. Okay, the message is Robert, remember that tomorrow we are having a meeting with IT. Don't forget the documents. Is this formal or informal? Formal. Okay, so this is formal. different. It's formal. Mm -hmm. The subject, right? It's, it's different because um, it says to, it's more specific tomorrow's meeting. It's saying the meeting with a specific uh, people and also the documents. But if we read before, we can we can also see that it's a spelling mistake. Ya se fijaron el, el, el spelling mistake. Over here. It's don't. It's missing the apostrophe and the T. Don't forget the documents. Pero no se ve. <laughs> okay, ahí casi no se ve. Ahí traté de ponerlo. Don't forget the documents. So those are the examples. Okay, guys, we are going to write emails to the seven. But before, I want to share with you some formal email phrases. How can you greet? Greetings, saludos. For example, you can write, dear sir or dear madam. Or if you don't know, you can, you don't know exactly the people who are, the name of the people who are receiving, you can say, to whom it may concern, a quien le corresponda. Dear Mr. or Mrs. Jones. Okay, esas son las abreviaciones para señor o señora o señorita, vea. Mr. or Miss. Do, dear Dr. Smith. So those are some of the greetings you can use. Reason for writing, replying. Okay, you can say, I am writing, y luego the reason. The, the reason why you are writing the email. ¿Cómo puede decirlo? I am writing to make a reservation. Examples, right? I am writing to apply for the position of cuando está aplicando a un trabajo y escribe un, un correo electrónico. I am writing to confirm my booking. Escribo para confirmar mi reservación. I'm writing to ask for further information about. Escribo para pedir o solicitar más información acerca de. I am writing with reference to our telephone conversation on Friday. I would like to let you know that. Escribo con referencia a nuestra conversación telefónica del viernes. Me gustaría hacerles saber que. So those are some phrases you can use when you in the first in the first sentence, right? In the opening sentence of your message, you have to write the reason why you are writing your email. Making a request, asking for information. What phrases can you use when you ask for information? Marlon, could you please 
read the phrase. Sorry, teacher. Can you please read the phrases on the slide? Okay. Could you please let me know if you can attend, if you are available for a meeting on, on 12th December? Could you possibly arrange a meeting with the logistics manager? I would also like to know if there are any swimming pools in the area, in your area. Thank you. So these are examples of, of a request ways, phrases that you can use when requesting or asking for information in your email. And if you notice here, we are using the, the, the expressions that we already learned on Thursday. Lo que aprendimos el jueves, ¿verdad? Could you, would you like to, would you mind? You can use those phrases. Mm -hmm. Okay. Offering help or giving information. Examples. Uh, who can read? Who can help me reading this? Alba? Can you read, please, okay. the phrases? We are happy to let you know that your article has been selected for publication. Mm -hmm. I am glad to inform you that we will be holding our annual conference in Switzerland on twenty. Mm -hmm. 20th, 20th September 2014. 2014. Mm -hmm. Should you meet any further information assistance, please do not assistance to contact. Contact us. Do not hesitate to contact us. To contact us. Uh -huh. Do not hesitate. 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 To contact you. Us. To contact us. us. Mm -hmm. To contact us. Ajá. La, la última frase significa, eh, si necesita más información o ayuda, por favor no dude en contactarnos. Do not hesitate to contact us. Should you need any further information or assistance? Please do not hesitate to contact us. Okay, next. Complaining. Oops. Complaining is cuando usted tiene una, una queja, un comentario, algo. ¿Cómo puede escribir? Vamos a ver si Carla Maritza Sánchez nos puede leer, por favor. Complaining. I'm writing to express my dissatisfaction with, um, to complain about. I regret to say that I was not completely satisfied with the room you provided us. I would like to receive a full refund and compensation for the damage. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. The next one is, well, uh, bueno, any doubt or question about these phrases? No questions. Apologizing. Es este para disculparse. ¿Cómo puede disculparse? Nancy, would you like to read, please, apo the phrases? Apologizing. ¿Las puede ver, Nancy? Sí, yes, teacher. Ok, please read for us. Eh, la leo, teacher. Please. We would like to police 
to apologize to apologize for any inconvenient pause please accept your apologies apologies apology for the delay delay delay, delay. please let please let us let us know, know what let us know what we, we can to you compensate compensate you, you for the damages cost damage cost we will make sure we will are sure what it will now happen I get in the future. In the future, yes. We will make sure that this will not happen again in the future. Thank you, Nancy. Okay. Uh -huh. Entonces, es, me, nos gustaría disculparnos por, los, por, el inconveniente, por algún inconveniente causado. Por favor, acepte nuestras disculpas por la demora. Por favor, déjenos saber qué podemos hacer para compensarlo por los daños causados. Queremos, nos aseguraremos que esto no vuelva a suceder en el futuro. Attaching files. How can you say that you are attaching a file? De que usted ha estado juntando un documento o un archivo. Eh, Marco David. Please, can you read the phrases? All right. Attaching files. I am attaching my CV for your consideration. I am sending you the brochure as an attachment. Please see the statement attached. Please find attached the file you requested. Okay, so I'm attaching my CV for your consideration. Ajunto mi curriculum vitae para su consideración. I am sending you the brochure as an attachment. Eh, envío, ¿verdad? El folleto o brochure para como un adjunto. Por favor, vea eh, el ah, statement, the document attached. El statement attached se referiría a un archivo, ¿verdad? Como un Word document. Please find attached the file you requested. Por favor, en el, encuentre adjunto el archivo que solicitó. Ok, guys. Ending the closing formula. ¿Cómo podemos terminar el email? Um, let's see. Karina. I look for work there are uh, for you. During, I look uh, forward to hearing from you. Uh, you. Thankfully. Thankfully, uh, when you start with the uh, sir, mom, mom, no sé sir or madam. Sir or mom, you're sincere. Uh, when you start with uh, the now. Man, a a a g dirt um as a colleague is sincerely. Okay, sincerely. Uh -huh. This is the most common. Sincerely. Okay, so you can say I look forward to hearing from you. It means the um. Espero escuchar de usted. Yours painfully. Uh, yours sincerely and sincerely. Como atentamente. Mm -hmm. Do you know the meaning of EG? It means, is the abbreviation for example, gratia. Which is a Latin word. Example gratia, huh? which is a, a Latin word. It means example. So you can read it as example. 
Okay, guys, time to work. What are you going to do? I'm going to assign you to a partner and you are going to uh, exchange the emails addresses and you are going to write a professional email to a co-worker. So imagine your partner is a co-worker and you have to confirm that you need to meet him or him tomorrow or you can change the subject. You can write the email um, apologizing, asking for a request, uh, attaching a document. You can use a, a one of the, any of the phrases that we just uh, had in the presentation. So you're going to send your email to your partner and copy to me, okay? Do you have my email address? Do you have my email? If not, I'm gonna write it on the chat, okay? Ya saben cómo copiarme en el correo. Ok, this is my email. Chicas, that rocio, that secat, at gmail.com. En, en la partecita donde dice cc, le dan allí y ahí, me, ahí escriben mi correo. Ese sería el, el de copia, ¿verdad? Luego, cuando reciban el correo de su compañero, me, lo ustedes le van a contestar en inglés. Así es que eso es lo que vamos a hacer ahorita. Necesito que todos abran su, su correo electrónico. Your email. Guys, can you see my screen? Teacher, eh, vamos a copiarla a usted, como que le vamos a enviar un correo. Vaya, primero a su compañero, ¿verdad? Sí. Vaya, van a escribir un, un correo a su compañero. Usted con su compañero se pone de acuerdo sobre qué. Ya Ay, vimos sí, varios, sí. ¿verdad? Entonces aquí escribe, eh, digamos que Rocío, Maritza, no sé, ¿verdad? Usted, ¿A quién le va a escribir su correo? Luego le pone aquí en copia y ahí me va a copiar a mí, que es Rocío, no, I'm sorry, es chicas, punto Rocío, punto seca. I am, I'm saying in, this, in the Spanish, chicas that rocio that cat at gmail that And then in the subject, you have to write, right? For example, uh, it can be tomorrow's, tomorrow's event or meeting or training, or it can be a, uh, and now, for example, delayed uh, deliver, delivery or something like that. Y luego ahí empieza a escribir, ¿verdad? ¿No? En cuerpo del correo. Y finalmente, you send it. Entonces ya los voy a poner en, en grupo para que lo hagan. Ok, Matías. Pero sí, um, no sé si mis instrucciones están claras sobre lo que van a hacer. Sí, yo tengo un inconveniente. Este, tuve, este, me pasó que me robaron mi teléfono y ahorita solo estoy utilizando el de la empresa, no puedo entrar a mi correo por el video que ahorita estamos recibiendo en la clase. Ah, entonces, no tengo con, su, como... con su compañero, usted escribe en el chat, si puede escribir en el chat o en el cuaderno y luego ahí puede compartirlo, ¿verdad? Con su compañero. Vaya, los voy a poner ahorita. Si tienen algún inconveniente, me pregunten. Pueden allí pedirme ayuda.
Creo que aparece como Carlos. Vean. Hello, teacher. Hi. How are you? Sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I could, and I took a nap. No, but it's because I. At night in the evening, I always after after um, dinner, I take a feel that um, makes me feel dizzy or makes me feel sleepy. That's why, and that's why I take it in the evening because it, it makes me feel like that very sleepy. <laughs> Uh, and today I took it before class, but that was not a good decision. <laughs> okay, I need to help Mauricio for some help. help. Oh, Mauricio. Hi, Mauricio. You don't have a partner, right? Eh, hi, teacher. Sí, estaba David, pero se retiró de la sala. Sí, es que yo lo moví porque creí que usted estaba de oyente. <laughs> Pero ahorita, ah, sí. ahorita okay. lo voy a poner a usted en otra sala para que se una a otro grupo. Ok, teacher, está bien. Bye. De acuerdo. Mauricio. Trabaje con Carlos. ¿Cómo se puede poner copia esta para tres personas? Hola, teacher. Hello. Por un momento, yo estoy como redactando el correo, ya que la compañera ya le falta poco para llegar a su casa, dice. Ah, ok. It's ok. Mm -hmm. So meanwhile, you can start working on, on creating the message. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, lo podemos hacer para una reunión de trabajo o sobre algún evento que queremos explicar. Por ejemplo, lo hacemos ¿qué? sobre la reunión que hicimos este día, poniendo los puntos que quedaron pendientes o aclarando los puntos que se tocaron. Sí. No necesariamente tiene que ser algo a futuro, sino sobre algo que, que también pudo haber sucedido. Por ejemplo, así como ella puso, de que enviaba el, el currículum para que lo tomara en consideración. Ok. Very good, guys. Thank you for organizing very well. Can you hear me, guys? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay. Katy, are you sick? Uh, a little. <laughs> you have allergy? Yes. Okay. 
How is it going, guys? Well, I think it's going well. Okay. I sent I sent an example. I don't know if you have received. Okay, in my to my email. Yes. Okay, let me check. And Domingo too, obviously, he, he is the the first one, and you are the the copy. And Karina is just taking notes, I think. Good. It's loading. So give me give me some minutes. Because it's, sometimes it's a, little, it's a little bit slow. The title of the email is Production Indicators. Yes, I, I have. Well, it's, it's still loading. It says that it's connecting with Google. Okay. Yeah, so. Well, I just brought to. Alexander and you, the your classmate attached, you will find the production indicators. Tell me if I can help you with another report. Thanks, greetings. Marlon Cardona, productivity engineer. Okay, nice. Now, Domingo, you have to do the, the yours. Uh -huh. que se me borró cuando abrí tu correo se, se cayó lo que estaba haciendo <ríe> sí. No encuentro el correo de la No. Atendemos. Atendemos. No. Así, ¿verdad, Walter? ¿Vea? Sí, así, así salió ya. Ahí se ve porque ahí, ahí, ahí prácticamente terminó. Ahí se ve, entonces, prácticamente. Lo voy a volver a copiar para mandar un correo. No lo podríamos agregar sin más previo aviso. No va. Eh... Voy, voy, espérame, quiero ver. Hello. Hello. Uh, 
teacher, the the email needs to send it with the date. 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 Fetcher. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Okay. Okay. I already I already received one. Dear Licenciada Dinora, I am sending you this email to inform you that tomorrow we have a meeting at 9 a.m. to discuss the issue of the salary increase. Nice. I would appreciate your confirmation. Sincerely, Rocio Martinez. Nice. <laughs> okay. Mirror mm. maintenance, Monday, double three. Dear partner or colleague. Se puede utilizar dear para una, para algo formal? Dear partners o dear colleagues? Yeah, yeah, it means estimado. Mm -hmm. Oh, Alexander, come So, really sent me one too. <laughs> I like this activity, receiving emails from the students. Ajá, pero eso significa Ajá. Sirve para referirse a nosotros Pero va después de, de, de un verbo En ese caso Ok, uh, Domingo I received your Your email It says Greetings, Magnon The reason is to ask for help With the English word <laughs> Yeah, so maybe you can make it more formal. A little bit more formal and more specific. And add a subject. Exactly, add a subject because there's no subject. Imagínese que Marlo sea su teacher. Entonces ahí usted le está saludando al maestro, greeting the teacher, y luego le pide... Uh. Que no entendió la tarea y que se le puede repetir las instrucciones o ayudarle. ¿Puede hacerlo así? Y Marlon, el teacher Marlon le va a responder. <risa> igual Era un ejemplo. Sí, okay. Igual lo copen, es igual. Ya casi, casi termina la clase, pero si no logran terminar, no se preocupen porque igual siempre me lo pueden enviar y yo lo voy a ir revisando y respondiendo. 
Pero sí me gustaría que lo hiciera un, un poquito más formal. Más formal. Hello, my daddy. I have a question for you. I would like to know if you can stay for the 10 minute session after class. My daddy. Hola. Hello. Hello, teacher. Did you finish? Mm, todavía no he terminado. Lo último estoy haciendo ya. Sandra, ¿y usted puede quedarse a la sesión de 10 minutos? Sí. Ok, thank you so much. Ok. Matías. Hola. You are here. Yes. Rocío, I, I already received all your email and also the reply from Dinora and who's the other person? Oh. David, David did not add me. Okay. Have a happy day. <laughs> okay. I like the topic, the subject of your of your meeting, salary increase for the employees. <laughs> That's great. Wow, that was a nice, a nice activity, guys. I was reading your, your emails. So if you haven't finished, you can still send it when you finish, and I will I will be reading your, your emails, okay? Later on. Now, guys, I'm going to say the attendance for the last time. Please remember to say present or here. If the person is not present, uh, if, if only oyente and write in the chat, please help me say uh, that person says present, okay? Thank you. Let's start with Alba Dinora. Present. Carla Maritza Sanchez. Present. Carlos Gualberto. Present. Cristina Romero. Present. 
Domingo Alexander. Present. Fátima del Carmen. Present teacher. José Matías Lemos. Present teacher. Karina Espinosa. Marco David Velázquez. Present. Marlon Cardona. Present. Marlon Alex Alberto. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry. Mauricio Alexander. Present. Maideli Judith. Nancy Rodríguez. Present teacher. Rocío Katia. Present teacher. Salvador Edgardo. Present teacher. Sandra Velázquez. Present. Víctor Salazar. Present. Walter Daniel González Pérez. Present. William Eduardo Pérez. No está William. William no está, ¿verdad? Se, habrá, se conectó al principio. ¿Verdad que estaba conectado, William? ¿Alguien recuerda? Bueno, si yes, no lo voy a ver. Sí, ¿verdad yes, que estaba yes, conectado? Sí, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Ok, guys. Um, just, I, I'm, I'm going to steal you one more minute, but I want you to tell me, please, uh, the answers of these questions in the chat. In the chat, okay? In the chat, this is the wrap up. What are some polite phrases you can include in your email? How can you make your emails more formal? What do you have to avoid in your formal emails? And what was new for you in this class? Aquí me faltó el to avoid. Me, me responden, por favor, eh, a una de las preguntas en el chat. Ya se las voy a poner de nuevo, que se me trabó lo que aprendieron fue escribirlo. Thank you, Marlon. What are some polite phrases you can include in your email? How can you make your emails more formal? What do you have to avoid in your formal emails? And what was new for you in this class? Oh, I have four, four chats. Six chats, nice. I want to have many chats here. We have. 19 for 18 participants, 18 of you. Pueden ver la pantalla. Ahorita está cargando. Ahorita sí. Ya, ya lo pueden ver. Sí. Ok. 
Be brief, Nancy. How do you use a formal email? Uh, let me see. I'm reading your chat. Okay, guys, thank you so much for your comments, for your messages. How do I format informal emails? I learned how to make a polite email or web forms of email. We learn how to write a formal and informal email with some rules that we have to follow. Express clear, clearly while you're writing, okay? Thank you so much, guys. Um, I really enjoyed reading your emails. Please send, send them, send your email if you haven't. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Sandra is going to stay with me this evening. Good night, everyone, rest well. Good night, Good night. Envuélvanse bien que está haciendo frío. Yeah. <laughs> it's cold. Can you put it on 10 minutes? Ah, uh, Sandra. Sandra se va a quedar. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Okay. Okay, Sandra. How can I help you? Do you have questions? No, yo siento que por el momento estoy bien. Más o menos he ido ahí captando lo que dice. <laughs> Solo que sí siento que he dado más poquito tiempo cuando nos unimos en grupo muy poquito tiempo necesitaría más tiempo sí <risa> no pero por lo demás sí como que se practica más el inglés así más de corrido ah ya, ya se siente más fluido sí es, es que fue. con la otra maestra que teníamos como que íbamos un poco más despacio. Uh -huh, Pero en sí. parte es mejor ir un poco más seguido porque como que uno va agarrando más también. Más agilidad para comprender y escuchar bien las palabras. Sí, 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 <risa> se quería quedar se quería quedar domingo y quería quedarse todas las noches en la clase <risa> ok Sandra I would like to know I would like to practice your speaking so I'm gonna ask you some questions and you can feel free to ask me questions too ok ok Okay, Sandrita, where do you live? Ma I live in Isalco, Sonsonate. Really? Okay. <laughs> yes, I live in, in San Salvador on the way to Los Planes de Vender. Oh. Yeah, so whenever you want to eat pupusas and enjoy fresh weather, you can come here. <laughs> oh, por eso tiene lo... <laughs> no. Casi está muy bueno. <laughs> no, 
but these ones are, are part of my are part of me since I was a baby. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's normal in me. Okay. <laughs> okay, Sandrita. And how, and how old are you? Um 20 year. You? Yes. 20. Really? Yes. Oh, yes. You're very young. <laughs> um. <laughs> and now I feel very old. Because I'm 28. <laughs> I'm 28. Oh. Okay, Sandrita, and um, oh, joven. <laughs> está joven. Ya soy viejita, soy más viejita que usted. Mire. No, idea. <laughs> okay, ya Sandrita. la voy a alcanzar. <laughs> Sandrita, and where do you work? Um, in the world. Farmacia Centro Vitamínico La Bendición. Okay, you work at a drugstore or a pharmacy. In the pharmacy. Okay, and what do you do? What are your functions at work? I'll repeat. What are your functions or re responsibilities at work? Oh, in the accounting. Accounting. Okay, so you are an accountant. It's contadora. You are yes. in the accounting area. Finance. Okay, in the finance area. So you the are in finance. charge, you are in charge of paying, paying the employees. <laughs> Paying. Mm. Are you in charge of paying? Paying the employees, paying the salaries. Está encargada de pagar los salarios de los empleados. Mm, no. No. Solo de hacer preguntas, formularios. Todo okay. lo que lleva la popularidad de contabilidad. De ahí, eso de pagar al empleado, el jefe. Ah, and who's the boss? Right. <laughs> yes. And who is it? Who is the boss? It's Victor. Ah, Victor is your boss. Okay. <laughs> is he is he a good boss? <laughs> or not? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, he is. Tell me the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, just kidding. Okay, Sandra. <laughs> bueno, fíjense que le quería comentar una cosa. Dígame. Fíjense que la vez pasada se lo comenté a la maestra que estaba con nosotros, porque también le pedí un consejo sobre el siguiente módulo, uh -huh. que es de septiembre. No sé si usted nos va a dar cómo lo cambian. Fíjense que yo ahorita estoy embarazada. Uh -huh. Y más que todo ya estoy en mis últimos días. Ajá, entonces no sé cómo podría ser si al nomás que yo salga de esto podría quedarme solo como oyente, sin que me afecte mucho o, o no sé qué me aconsejaría para no dejar el módulo así. Y para seguir, ¿verdad? Muy bien. Este, bueno, primero, congratulations for your baby. Uh, thank you very much. Y como por la cámara no vemos, ¿verdad? Ah, cabal, debajo de la mesa. No, thank you. Ahí, ahí está la pancita. Your baby is learning English, too. Okay, 
Bueno, déjenme preguntar qué se podría hacer en este caso, qué sería lo más conveniente, ¿verdad? Pero a usted le gustaría seguir, ¿verdad? Seguir en el, con el sí. mismo grupo, en el mismo curso, y, este, y yes. estaría, estaría dispuesta a, a, a hacerlo de la plataforma y a estar en las clases por lo menos de oyente, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí. Este, ¿Para cua, qué fecha le han dejado? Pues me han dejado para el 12 de septiembre, pero uno nunca sabe. ¿Qué puede ser antes? ¿Y es primera vez? ¿Your first time? Sí. Oh. Yes. Ok. Vaya, entonces sí, vamos a... No se preocupe. Voy a consultarlo. Y yo le hago saber. Okay. ¿Verdad? Pero usted tranquila, ¿verdad? Sí, ¿Cómo? eso le quería decir. Para Ahora, ver cómo sí. Termina el curso, igual inscríbase en el siguiente. Y este, como, eh, bueno, ahí tienen, eh, eh, como ese programa, tienen, tienen este, en contacto con, con las empresas directamente, ¿verdad? En este caso es ahí, Víctor, ¿verdad? Sí. Ajá. Ahí es que va a seguir pagando la planilla, imagino. Ah, cabal, tiene que hacerlo. Tiene que, ¿verdad? Ah, pues sí. sí, sí. Va, está bien, Sandra. Entonces, este, quedamos con eso pendiente. Si se me llegara a olvidar, me mando un mensajito para recordarme, porque a veces ah, okay. está beneficio. No le escribo en el privado. Exactamente, en el privado. Uh -huh. Okay. Ya le voy a llamar. <ríe> ah, mentira. Oh, yeah. Yes, it's okay. Feel free to do it. To say hi. ¿Qué pasó? Me lo olvidó, lo voy a decir yo. Ajá, teacher. ¿Qué pasó? <ríe> ok, Sandrita. <ríe> no, okay. It was a pleasure to meet you and to know that you're going to be a mom. <ríe> A sweet mother. <laughs> okay, good night. Goodbye. Tomorrow. <laughs>